This is going to be a recorded statement taken on July 12, 2009. This is Investigator Buddy Neesmith along with Investigator Tom Watts. We're here, Reference Sheriff's Complaint Number 09S-017289. Interviewing Ms. Carol Brandt. Would you state your full name for me? Carol Sue Brandt. Your uh, address? 318 Palm Court. Okay. Ms. Brandt, uh, I talked to you earlier and you gave a statement earlier? Yes. Okay. I came out and I handed you a package containing your husband's wallet and told you that he'd been arrested. Is that right? Yes. Asked you if you had any knowledge of the murder that we're working? Yes, she did. Okay. And you agreed to come in and talk to us? I don't know how much help I'll be. Okay. If um, I'm dead. Tell me, tell me the knowledge that you have. Okay. Let me ask you questions. Do you know that your husband was in the van when it drove over there. I need a, uh, I have tape, I, I can't see a knot. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Did he tell you what happened? No. Who told you what happened? The news the next morning. How do you know he was involved then? I just knew. How do you, how do you know? I can't. I can't tell or I'll die. Your son's involved. My son? No, not Donald. His son, I should say. I'm sorry. Oh, Patrick, really? did Patrick talk to you about it? A little, but not, not a lot. He, he, he figured the less I knew, the better. What did he tell you? He didn't tell me what happened. What did he tell you? He just said they were going out there because that man was molesting little children that he had in his care. And when they walked in, there was a little six-year-old Chinese girl, whatever, with a negligee on, and him in the bedroom with her. What did he say he did? Well, he didn't seem to do anything to her. What did he? What did Patrick say he did when he saw it? He didn't tell me what he did. He wouldn't come out and tell me. Nobody would. Why did they go over there? Other than that, why did they go over Supposedly, there? Supposedly, he oh, there's plenty. A little louder, please. You're on tape. I know. I just don't. He laundered money for them all. Okay. Did they go over there with the intent to do what? To rob him. They went over there. Patrick did? Yeah. Patrick well, who? Who do you know? Who did they tell you went over there? They didn't tell me who all went. I don't know who all went. Okay. But he told you he did. I knew they were going. How did you know that? They told me they were going. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Who is they? And they told me about that man doing that to that little girl. Okay. Who were they? Who were they? You say they told me. Who were they? Pat and Leonard. Okay. They both said they were going over there. Yeah. Did they say what they were going to do? All I knew, all I understood was they were going to rob them. Okay. Did they they say supposedly they... had a bunch of drugs in the house, too. Okay. Did they say that, when I say they, Pat or Leonard, Junior or senior, did they say they were going to carry a gun? I knew Leonard wasn't. I don't know if Pat did or not. Does, he, access, does he have access to a gun? Oh, I'm sure he does. What kind of gun does he have? I don't know what kind of okay. armament he's got. Okay. How did they say they were going to carry this out? They didn't. I was excused from the room every time they talked about it. I when stayed did this, out of it. When did this conversation take place? It's been going on for a couple of months. Okay. When did the first conversation take place? Oh, I don't remember. Honestly. Okay. Where was the first conversation that you know of that took place? I would assume one time when he came and took Leonard off. Okay. I don't know. Why this person? Why did Patrick pick this person out? He didn't pick him. He was asked to do it. By who? I don't know. I don't know. Who did he know. say he asked him to do he it? He did not say who. Did Patrick tell you he was asked to do it? No, he didn't come on out. And well, what exactly. did he say? He just kind of said, I got a job I got to do. He's molesting his children and he's supposed to be laundering money and it's not. He had it supposedly built up in his house and there was also supposed to be a bunch of cocaine there too. Okay. What was Patrick going to get out of this job? What was his payment? The cash. The cash, where was the cash supposed to be? In a big safe. In a big safe? That's all I know. Okay. Do you, do you, in your knowledge, do you know if they got a safe? 
No, I do not know. Like I said, one real super important thing, I was excused from the room and they said that would be better for me if I didn't know. Okay. On the day of the murder, when they left in the van, who was who was in the van? I don't know. I was gone. Where were you at? I took off and went to the store. Okay. Who was at the house when, when you left? There was nobody but Pat and Leonard there. That Pat and Leonard only? Uh-huh. I don't know who else was there. What do you mean you don't know who else was there? Well, I could tell there was more than the two of them there when I got back and had to clean up the living room. Okay. What do you mean by that? Oh, um, picking up drinks and different papers and stuff I knew when I just threw it away. Where'd you throw them? In my trash. What kind of papers were they? Well, some was candy wrappers, some was drink bottles, you know, that that's, that's trash. Okay. All right, so Pat and Leonard were there on the day of the murder. Uh-huh. And the van was obviously running. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Enough to get to out there. Okay. Who would drive the van? No, it wasn't Leonard. Who would drive the I'd, van? I would assume Pat would. I don't know. Okay. Have I you just, seen Pat drive that van? No, I am not. Okay. Have you seen Leonard drive that van? No. Okay. I drove it. Took it to get air in the tire. That's all. On um, that night after the murder had occurred, what happened? I was told to not talk to anybody on the phone. Who told you that? Well, Leonard and Pat both. Leonard and Pat told you not uh -huh. to talk to nobody? Don't talk to nobody. Okay. Why? Because if I did, I would be killed. And so would my family. What did they do? Who? Leonard and Pat. I don't know what they did. Were they outside? Sometimes. What were they doing? I don't know. I didn't look out.